Good afternoon. Hi. Good How afternoon. Good evening and good night. <laughs> I'm doing yeah, fine. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How is the, la the rest of your week since Tuesday? Everything good? Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Did you get a lot yeah, done? Good. Yeah. Did you get a lot uh, done? I've forgotten. <laughs> the mommy brain strikes again. <clears throat> yeah, I think I did a lot of writing yesterday. I think oh, yesterday was the one I was up early in the morning. Good, good. That's good. Good to hear. Yeah. So you're making some really good headway. Did the did the plot call help to get that, you know? Yeah. Inspiration going. Yeah, I'm using one of your ideas at the moment. Woohoo! <laughs> Which one was that? I've already forgotten. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was one of yours. Anyway, it was um, having one of them take her out for. A, Night the out. Ooh, the bad boy night out. Yes. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I'm so excited for that. You have to send me that one for sure. <laughs> okay. So we've got Easy Graphics with us. We've got Megan. We've got Allie, Laura, uh, Allie, of course. Laura Nettles. Good to see everybody. What y'all working on today? Let us know. Uh, let's see. I chased my VA on something that's holding up my latest short read release. Oh, uh, you're, I think you mean a virtual assistant. Yes. VA. I was going to say PA, personal assistant, but you mean virtual assistant. Gotcha. Well, good for you. Well, hopefully that won't take up much more time and you'll get your thing out there. Laura Nettles editing my Victorian Gothic romance to fit with my anthology. Oh, Victorian like Gothic. What do you think? Have you read any of that, Ali? Victorian Gothic? I have. I have not read Victorian Gothic, no. I love Victorian era stuff, though. Um, like movies and such like that. I love that kind of stuff. So interesting. Morning stars with us. Hey, good morning. Hello, Megan. Yeah. Megan's revising what she wrote last night. Awesome. All 1,700 words. I think she had 1,700 words yesterday. She's on fire. What do you think, Allie? Yeah. Yeah. She's been doing awesome. Yeah. This girl is on fire, as they say. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, so everyone's got something to work on. I am also still formatting. <laughs> so I've been formatting. I've been marketing. I've been ARC. I'm like going really so crazy. All the things. Yeah. When's your release date? It is June 4th. I have to get everything up okay. to Amazon by the 30th. <clears throat> Everything final, the final manuscript uploaded to Amazon by the 30th. Um, yeah. And just, you know, the push. But I was hoping to get it all done by the time I go to surgery on Tuesday. I don't know yeah. if that's going to happen. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm working as hard as I can. But there's a lot of other stuff. There's real work. There's kids. There's husband. There's mom coming in town. It's like <laughs> a so lot going stuff. on. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the way it goes, you know. My hubby brought me flowers last night for no reason, so that was so sweet. Aww. I know, I have them that's on my sad. desk. And Oh, we had a family reunion in the midst of all this. Um, all of the, his mom had seven sisters and, and a brother, and so they all decided to get together because wow. they couldn't come in for her funeral. So we did that Thursday Aww. night, and so it's just been a whirlwind. <laughs> it's, I don't know where this last week went. It did not go into my productive pile. I mean, I was productive, but it was like, Fast-paced, yeah. I don't know, it's crazy. Let's see, somebody's having donuts. Donuts and bookcases mm, being donuts. delivered today. I'll take one of each. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. Do you have a favorite donut shop where you are? No. What? I got donuts on holiday, though. That was delicious. I love, like, freshly cooked, the little, like, mini donuts. Oh, like donut I don't, holes? I'm not, or like yeah, I'm not really a big donut fan in general, but just the oh freshly cooked ones I really like. No, I love donuts. My family loves donuts, but we avoid them, you know, if we can. Um, 
but when we when we go someplace, it's always fun to check out, you know, the, the gourmet local donut. Not necessarily gourmet, but people who are really making donuts, not like the frozen kind that Dunkin' Donuts does. Like, I can't even stand those donuts, but like people who are really making fresh homemade donuts. So, Ali, someday when you visit me in PA, we'll go to this place here called Apple Castle, and it's an apple farm. They make honey glazed donuts. They are the best. I don't know what the Sounds recipe awesome. is. There's not another like it ever that I found out there. They're so light and delicious. They're good. Of course, that's if donuts mean the same thing in the UK as they mean here. I'm not sure. I was there's, wondering that. I'm there's not no sure pudding in the middle that. of your donuts or something. <laughs> I mean, some donuts have like jam in or you can get like oh, yeah. custard donuts. Filled, which I get. Yes. Yes. Yes, those are the best. Do you like those or do you not like those? The jam um, film? I'm not over it. No, I prefer just like the little ring donuts. Okay, so sugar. it's we, all about the hot on the sugar for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, do you mean like granulated sugar or do you mean like white powdered sugar or glazed? What kind of sugar are you talking about? Um, probably granulated, I think, because the sugar's kind of um, not Texture. quite so powdery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe like caster sugar, which is like halfway between granulated and icing, oh. like powdered sugar. So. Yeah. Powdered. Huh. So you're just the basics. You're like that vanilla ice cream quiz, you know? Or do you like only yeah, vanilla ice cream? Yeah, except for I like strawberry ice cream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's great. Oh my gosh. Well, Laura, I'm super jealous. Super tall built bookcases being built tomorrow. I have a couple of places I'd love some built-ins to. Lucky you, Laura. You just have to tell us how it goes. On Tuesday, you can fill in Allie and Megan on how yeah. it goes because I won't be here, but they're taking over. It's a it's a YouTube takeover. <laughs> Allie's having a guest, and it's Megan Lamb, who is a contemporary romance writer, but moving toward the suspenseful side. Suspense, romance, romantic suspense is our current work in progress. Megan can tell us all about it in the, in the chat. So what do you guys have planned for Tuesday? Have you talked about it or you're just gonna chat? <laughs> Go with the flow we and hope the technology works. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we'll hope for the best. And hopefully you all will be here on Tuesday too. Tuesday, 3 p.m., usual time, right, Ali? Yeah, I've already got it scheduled so you can actually um, on all of our on Facebook on the Let's Write YouTube channel on my YouTube channel. It's already scheduled if you're going awesome. the usual route so everybody can chime in and see you guys. Yay. Yeah, so that'll be Tuesday. So Megan says, haven't thought that far ahead. I know. Me too, Megan. Me just, yeah, one. It's pretty much one hour at a time around here. <laughs> My word can be sky high in the chat. Yes, easy, you're funny. We'll attend on Tuesday. Thanks, easy. Because Megan and Allie need all the aggravation you can give them. No, just kidding. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm so glad. All right, so shall we get to work? Shall we enter our first 20? I see a lot yeah, of people have joined it. us. I think Kat Sadler has joined us too. Yep, so okay. yeah, we've got about seven of us on here. Let's get the day rolling and start our first 20. Cool. Let's do it. I'm gonna bring up the thing, so take me a minute. You can keep chatting, Nelly. <laughs> I gotta bring up the video, uh -huh. our timer video. Okay. So go ahead. I, I have blank brain. Oh no, someone say something. Easy graphics, tell a bad joke, that'll help. <laughs> yeah, see, he's <laughs> bring his bad jokes. All right, guys, we'll see you on the other side of 20. Okay, Bye. see you soon.
Okay, we are hey. back. How did everyone do? I know, put on. Hi, I did great. I made a um, Canva puzzle graphic to drip out across my Instagram for the next two weeks. I'm gonna pre-schedule it today so I don't have to think about um, think about it as I head toward lunch well, day, so. Um, sorry, you said words I don't understand. Did I you, know, you it's, a, it's a puzzle graphic. So on my Instagram feed for posts, it'll actually have, uh, it'll have, I think, 15, 15 posts that are three squares across and up, was that five rows up or something? And it'll look like my book when it's all done, but it has different graphics Ooh. on it across it, yeah. So, um, and Easy Graphics asked, where did I get the graphic on the stream right now? That is from my favorite place to do all my graphics, which is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Boop, Canva. <laughs> I love it. I know there's some other things out there that you can do similar stuff with. Um, I also have book brush, but Canva I use with um, with work for real work, and I use Camtasia, which is a screen capture and recording software too for work. So um, yeah, so actually I recorded <laughs> making that, and I'm gonna actually put that on like TikTok in in super speedy fast doing the Instagram puzzle feed and um, put it on, probably put on YouTube or something too, and Instagram, I guess. Anyway, awesome. I'm not the greatest. I don't have, I have no training in graphics or design or anything. I just know what I like for myself and that's what I do. So the unicorn life, <laughs> I think it's a conglomeration. I had put like several things together to make this entire screen. Um, so yeah, easy graphics, that's where I got it from was all on um, Canva. So yeah, there you go. Puzzle graphic. Yes. If I can upload it, I'll show you guys, but we'll see what happens in the next round. If I can do that. Hello, Greg Inc. Hi, Megan. Hi. Megan still revising did 52 words. Awesome. Excellent. Revising is important, right? Allie, after you write yes. something. So important. Uh, let me get rid of the unicorn. There we go. I decided that the second half of my chapter four was finished and will be send as is to the proofreader. I still need to tweak the first half. Cool. Allie's a proofreader. You should check her out. Just saying. She's an editor proofreader. I didn't realize that Canva had nice unicorns. Oh, there were a bunch, but I just like the cuteness of that. I could make a different one if you don't want not if you don't want as cute unicorns, Allie. Do you want better unicorns than that? No, I'm good with those unicorns. <laughs> they're awesome unicorns. They're so cute. Okay, so how'd you do, Allie? Did you feel like you got some words in, got some things done? Uh, yes, I do. That's it, that's all I've got. <laughs> that's all you got. <laughs> that's good, I'm glad. It's a Saturday and we're we're all working hard, working really hard. Yeah. I got these lights, I don't know if you can tell they're blinking. I got these, um, these yes, fun I can make me see. lights for around our, I got them, I would put them around our television and I got them on my computer and they're just kind of fun. <laughs> so I'm blinking colorfully like a unicorn today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Kate Sadler edited two sections, about 2000 words. I'm stuck with this WIP. It needs to go to beta so I can figure out what needs to be done. Is that in your, your billionaire book, Kate, your third billionaire book? which I did send your plot to mom. I haven't heard back on any of those, but I, I did tell her to email you directly. I don't know, maybe she did. <laughs> um, and she'll be here next week. So I'm debating, should I have her on camera with me next Saturday <laughs> when we do, do this? It. Do the three of us? She'll just visit Yeah. Her we'll see how she feels. I don't know how she feels about that. She's a pretty introverted person. I'm not sure how she'd feel about it. She'd probably like go like this, hello. You know, that'd be it. <laughs> But I'm looking it would be awesome coming. to see her, I am. if she wants to. We have the same facial structure, but I have my dad's coloring. She's a brunette. She's a pale brunette, so we have kind of, so we're a lot, a lot, I've been told our mannerisms are a lot alike and stuff, so she's funny. She's a funny woman. Are there horror unicorns? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I think, Allie, in your book, the unicorns are the bad guys, right? Yeah, but they don't look it. But I do have 
a horse that looks more like a horror horse. But he's not a bad guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He just looks at well, the mm -hmm. unicorns look all sweet and innocent and are evil. Because, you know, why not? Yeah, I think it's a good twist because usually unicorns are these magical creatures that are so awesome and, you know. Yeah. And, and it's supposed to be so save the world. And I love that you twisted it the other way. It's great. Allie is a proofreader. She's an editor as well. Yes. And you should check out what website, Allie Dover? Um, AllieDoverEditing.com. It is the in one. the description. Yes, it is down below. Like, save, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Click those <laughs> links. Yay, Allie Dover. She does, uh, you do everything, right? You do academia, editing, plus fantasy, romance, anything and everything, right? Except yeah. you don't like okay. blood and gore, was there? I don't do horror because horror scares me. And I don't want to be scared. Greg Ink, I think, wasn't he writing horror? I can't remember. But you know what? Maybe you make an exception for Greg Ink, Allie. Maybe, you it's know what, how scary. Greg? Seriously, nightmares. <laughs> you do do a sample, right, Allie? Like you'll send, yeah. you know, send her a thousand yeah. words or something like that, right, Allie? So that she yeah. can determine if, if your stuff is too scary for her. And then we can go from there. Yay, Allie. Allie does editing services. Website's in the description. Yeah. Thanks, easy. Checking it out earlier. Unicorns are like dolphins. Some are good, some Yes. Oh, there was a movie. Are there nasty one. dolphins? <laughs> I thought all dolphins were just awesome. I did too, in real life. But there was a movie. I'm trying to think. It's coming to mind, but I can't, can't remember the title of it, where the dolphins were the bad guys. Does anybody remember that? It's probably going to they, last. Were they like those really big dolphins that are black with white spots or white with black spots that are properly called killer whales? Because they're evil dolphins for you. Oh, really? Um, yeah. No, but I grew up in San Diego, so I saw Shamu all the time, and I never thought of him as being a horrible thing, but apparently... I'm sure there are some non-evil killer whales, but there are also <laughs> horrible killer, killer whales who kill other creatures. Dolphins can be vicious, easy graphics. Said. Do you, have, you must have personal... Like, did you go swimming with dolphins and have a bad time? Did it something? bite you? <laughs> There's some kind of underlying backstory here, Easy Graphics. Yeah. You kind of need to know. <laughs> dolphins can be vicious. I have never heard anybody say that. Usually it's like, look, the dolphins are jumping, and, you know, oh, and their noses are up and want you to pet them. And you can swim with the dolphins. I think if they were vicious and nasty, they would not offer that service. But, <laughs> but you're right. There probably is a little fact. Tell us more, Easy Graphics. A little faction of dolphins somewhere in the world that are evil. You might be right. Yes, I'm. I am not a. Now I, I have been slowly able to do psychological, like stuff a little, a little alley. But I am not a. You know, what was the one with the the chainsaw? You know, all that. I don't like all that kind of stuff. Like yeah, slasher stuff. Mm -hmm. The House on the Hill, that I think was a recent Netflix one in the last couple of years. I was able to watch that with my husband, the psychological drama-ish kind of stuff. I don't like a lot of paranormal, ghosty, you know, make your hair stand on ends kind of things. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, let's see. Oh, sci-fi. Oh, you can do sci-fi. I, like sci I like sci-fi. A lot of dialogue, very little violence, but a couple people die. And eh, we're used to it from Megan. <laughs> we're used to people dying now. People just die. <laughs> well, hey, better days. Thanks for joining us Hi. again today. Appreciate it. Not the killer wears actual dolphins. Okay, okay, so now we're getting the story. Easy Graphics is a documentary he watched. Dolphins are usually nice, the ones we see, but they also fight against each other. Uh -huh. huh. All the stuff we don't see that happens under the water. Megan Lamb loves horror. Scarier, more realistic, the better. But I don't like gore. I know there is a difference between the gore horror and the horror that just makes you like, oh, you know, something's behind me. Kind there of is. Thing. Yeah. But I like to stay in my pink bubble. <laughs> my pink mm. bubble of romance and happiness and oblivious to the world. <laughs> yeah. And there's Megan, always planning to kill off the character. <laughs> yep. 
that's true. Do you think like a, a, a typical contemporary romance with an HEA is okay to kill off a character in that kind of a romance that's not a suspenseful romance, not a dark romance, just like a, you know, a nice it contemporary love It depends how dark story. you want it to be. Yeah. Because I think if you're killing people off, that automatically adds an element of darkness. Whereas if you want just that sweet, happy escapism, then no, you couldn't. You would, you don't really want to kill anyone off. But you, there's plenty of contemporary romance that do have that edge of a bit more darkness. Yeah. Now, how? Like, mm -hmm, go ahead. The the sweet stuff. You don't really have any of the bad things. You don't have like cancer and things like that because that automatically kind of brings it down a little bit. But there's there's lots of romance that isn't aiming for that mm -hmm. intense candy uh, floss feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Like like my first book here has you know she's briefly attacked you know but she uses her mace and the attacker goes away like yeah that's not like so dark and yeah. I actually haven't put a trigger warning in because I, I just kind of feel like it was so brief like yeah yeah it was like two paragraphs I don't know do you think it needs a trigger warning. I'm not sure. I've been de debating about I that. I wouldn't think so. I don't know. But that'll be the first thing somebody says. This had a paragraph well, about attacking. I mean, if you get any response that says it should have, then, you know, put one in. But I would be really surprised for the, the tiny bit that it was because she wasn't even really... She was grabbed, wasn't she, and instantly let go, so... Grabbed and put mace in his eyes and that was... Yeah. Bad. Yeah. But she yeah. was traumatized, like, the next day from it a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. But, but. but I don't think the way you've written it would trigger anyone's trauma so badly yeah. that it would need a warning. That, I mean, there's there's always people that are gonna, could be triggered by almost anything if they've had bad trauma themselves. But Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, Kate is listening to a ro audiobook romance now that I thought was all happy contemporary romance, but it just killed the main character and went sad and dark. A main character. That's, that's a bit extreme. Wow. I know. Megan's like me. A main character. Yeah. Like, I always heard you don't kill off the main ones because the, the readers fall in love with them too much and you don't want, you know, you don't want to disappoint yeah. your main ones. In How are you feeling romance. about it, Kate? Oh, okay, you're listening to it. Has it changed how you feel about the book? The best friend of one of the male main character. Oh. Now, see, if it's going to be a series, you can't kill off the best friends. Who are the next women going to fall in love with? You need them. You need all the men you can get. <laughs> yeah, Kate, tell us how you feel about that. That's interesting. Okay, we better enter into our second 20. Are you ready, Allie? Everybody yep. ready? Let's do it. Let's do it to it. I'm going to bring up another one of these things because I wasn't prepared. Okay, we'll see you guys on the flip side of 20. All right, see you in 20. If I can find the video. Sorry, guys. The timer video. Where did I go? You're right. What? Are you okay? Sorry, I've taken my headphones. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm just trying to find the timer video. It's escaped me. Okay. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're back, everybody. How did everyone do? I see Hi. there's a, a healthy discussion about expectations and romance. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's all the thing, isn't it? It's expectations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As long as you get your expectations right, everyone will be happy. Absolutely. The different genres have certain things going on. So yeah. how'd you do, Allie, that round? How'd it go? Get some more yeah, in? Right. Yeah? Are you feeling good about it? Yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. okay with your kids? You're having a kid oh, interruption. Yeah. They um uh, technically it was a husband interrupt interruption. He was um just coming to say he was taking them out over to his mum's. Nice. So. Nice. So they'll have a little yeah. visit away for the afternoon or evening? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How's the weather been there? Oh, you know what? It's been quite bad the last couple of days. It's been windy and rainy and oh, wow. kind of stormy. Oh, wow. So it'd be nice for them to get out the house because we haven't been able to even go out in the back garden the last couple of days. Wow. Crazy. Yeah, ours has been 80 degrees all, all week, so kind of summer-like weather. I was going to say, is that hot or cold for you? I'm that, still... is, that is warm, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but not as bad as it could be. I mean, in the summer, we'll get... Um, range of like 90 degrees and humidity. I'm not okay. a very humidity kind of a person, but that's what I get here, so. How about you? Is it humid in the summer in the UK? I don't really know. We, I don't, either we don't really get told a lot about humidity or I just don't notice it. I know my husband prefers the heat in Spain. Um, is even it a when dry it's the, heat? Or what kind of I'm heat not sure. Spain? Even hmm. when it's the same temperature, though, in England and in Spain, he prefers mm -hmm. what what you get in Spain. Hmm. So, yeah. but I'm not sure whether I'm not sure which one's more humid or dry, which one he prefers. Um, so. Well, Greg Inc. got three pages edited. Jocelyn's That's... joined us. Hi, Jocelyn. Megan is revising management to add two hundred two. Well, yeah, because San Diego heat can get warm. I mean, it can get up into the early hundreds, you know, in the summer. Um, and then there's just, you know, really warm, like two week period of, you know, these winds that come in. But it's a drier heat. And so I prefer that next to the ocean. It's a little drier. I mean, there's some humidity, but versus like back here in Pennsylvania and Florida is even worse where it's just super humid and you're like dripping you can hardly breathe outside like <laughs> so i wonder yeah. what spain is like i wonder if it's drier or, or wetter here's megan can uh doing the translation for you <laughs> 80 is about 20 oh wow that's really well, warm for may here yeah but we'll go like yeah. this, like some years we'll get a really warm May and you're wishing you already had your pool open and some years it's super wet and rainy. So kind of different in we, We've got the wet and rainy May, I think. Yeah. Well, that's that's like warm for our summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can, you don't get into I the mean, hundreds. You're not a desert, you know. No, it's been, for the last couple of years, I think it's got up to 30 and above um, for a few days and that's quite... Yeah unpleasant yeah. frankly we're not really used to it mm -hmm. but that's that's really hot here 27 is like 25 to 27 is normal kind of heat wave temperature here this is about what it's going to be like all summer but we'll get those ranges of you know 90s maybe for a, a short week or something or if a storm's coming or that kind of a thing but you yeah, know it's nice to be in summer finally though i think it's nice that the okay Winter and fall, I love them, love them pieces. Spring has been great. It's been so cool to see everything so green right now. And we have tons of trees all around us because we're kind of in the country. It's just, everything is green. Wildflowers are popping up. It's just nice, nice to see yeah. before the summer okay. gets us and turns everything dry. Anyway, I'm I think, the weather. Oh, go ahead. Go, Google agrees. I think England is humid and Spain is dry because Thinking about it, Spain has a lot of places where it's not very green, and England is very green. So oh. logic says there must have been, there must be more wet here, and therefore it must be humid. Yes. Um, and Google says England, the UK is usually humid, that and makes Spain a lot is sense. more dry. So that makes a lot of sense to me. And so Spain is also probably, I don't know, equator-wise, in line with more San Diego, yeah. so that could be. Um, but I. 
I, uh, the one thing I had to get used to back here in PA is it's so wet that the weeds take over if you're not careful in all of our gardens because they yes. just, they're so, it's it rainy, it's wet, it's like, you know, and mold yeah. and all that yucky stuff. Mildew. <laughs> well, we went away for a week and we came back and the grass had grown about six inches, so. Yeah. <laughs> It's so nice. I remember when I was flying back and forth to when my husband and I were still, we've been together, by the way, it'll be like 20 years since I moved to PA I last saw. Next, Congratulations. Next month. I know, how bizarre, but um, I remember when we were dating and we were we had met online, we were dating, we were flying back and forth uh, to see each other. And I remember like flying um, into Pennsylvania and everything was so green. And then flying home to San Diego and it's such a deserty, you know, place out there. Everything was like brown and like houses stacked upon each other. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> you know, first time I'd ever thought San Diego was really ugly. <laughs> so, so anyway, it's kind of a funny thing. Oh, sure. uh, let's see, supposed to be 29 and 85 on Tuesday. Uh, oh, I think you mean 29 Celsius. You're doing that. For yeah. Me. yeah. 85. Yeah. Yeah, we're heading into summer. 90s here and I'm dancing the swimming. Good for you. You know what I heard? I don't know, Morningstar, if you heard this, because I'm just wondering what we're going to do about our pool. I guess chlorine is going to be in short supply this summer. Like oh. there's going to be a chlorine shortage. So I wonder what that does for all of us who have pools. It's kind of interesting. I really meant to get like a sand filter last year, and we didn't, but maybe we will have to this year, with, which helps you don't have to have chlorine. Anyway. Yeah. That's a whole nother topic. <laughs> Virginia, yes, lots of humidity in Virginia, I think. Congratulations. I oh, thanks. <laughs> we have a salt. Yes, I would love to have done a salt pool morning star. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's gonna be an interesting summer. And I can't even swim probably in June with my, I don't, I wouldn't think I'd be allowed oh, yeah. to swim until my stitches are out, so. No. It's usually just me and my younger son, and then my mom will swim. So, yeah, my, my oldest son and my husband hate swimming. My husband wow. was a farm boy, so he just, you know, didn't get used to swimming growing up, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> enough chit-chat. We should head into our third 20. <laughs> okay. How's it sound? Everybody will get to work. Yeah. We'll make our final 20 minutes count and tell us what you're doing in the chat and how you're doing and we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay. Okay.
Hello, we are back. Hi. So how'd you do that round? Anything good yeah, happening? Good. Yeah? Are you going to keep writing or are you done for the day, for the night? I guess it is. Good. I'm going to keep going. My kids yeah. have gone out, so. Yeah, good time to focus yeah. in and do your thing. You do you. That's right. How about you? Uh, I started actually, I finished what I was doing on the um, Puzzlegram, which I need to finish some stuff up on the Mac to do that. So I started reading. Um, I've been a little bit of reading, but I'm on like page four and I need to do some more reading on Lucy's critique. So it's actually really good. I was, I was, night I'm, I'm looking forward to reading more. So I'm really, really excited about it. Yeah. Um, so I need to finish that up. I also have halfway done packaging your and, um, uh, easy graphics packages that I need to get in the mail on Monday. So I'm very behind doing that and I need to get that done before Tuesday. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm kind of all over the place today and then I need to settle down and do my thing with my, my, uh, yeah, my book. So yeah. crazy. I, and it's like, I just want to, I'm just going to get this out there. If something happens to me Tuesday in the surgery, <laughs> I just want to thank you all. You all have been wonderful to write with. <laughs> I know my boys, I'm driving my boys crazy. I'm like, I think the last time I went under in a surgery, I like wrote everybody a letter and told them how much I loved them. I'm oh. like, I said to my my teenager, I said, I guess I need to pull that letter out or write a new one. He's like, mom, <laughs> Jeez. Oh. it's funny. You know, you never know what happens these days. It's funny. You do not, it's true. But you all have been a joy to write with. I've enjoyed every Tuesday, every Saturday, whatever other days. It's been fun. And uh, me too. It's been awesome. Let's see. Greg Inc. says, couple more pages, two more pages to edit before the chapter is done. I do the same thing with kids. I know. It's like, oh, my God. What if I never see them again? <laughs> you know? I want to tell them everything I wanted to tell them about growing up, you know? It's funny. It's yeah. such a small surgery it's no big deal but it's like you get those feelings you know what i mean ali it's like i do I have really you ever do. been have you ever been under like put under for a or even twilight sleep this will just be twilight sleep but it still you know freaks me out i don't think i've ever had general anesthetic um i had i don't even know what they gave me for a colonoscopy but that was that was fun yeah, always <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I don't know either. Um, Megan Lamb, 415 words. Yay. Yeah, it's doing awesome. She is. She's doing great. And um, let's see. So Kat Sadler, anyone else get anything done? Tell us in the, um, in the chat. So um, Kat Sadler, Jocelyn, Greg Inc., everybody, come back Tuesday, Tuesday 3. Allie is going to be here with Megan Lamb. Woohoo, Megan, thanks for yeah. stepping up as the, as the co-host for the day. And uh, I think you guys are going to have fun. Can't wait to hear. I'm going to yeah. listen in when I get a chance. I don't know if I'll be able to Tuesday. I might. And if I do, I'll sit in the chat. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Greggy. Bye, Greg. Yeah. And uh, everyone's crushing word count. Yay. And... Um, I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing how you guys do. And maybe you guys just have to keep on going. I don't know. Sometimes I'm thinking, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work, you know. <laughs> but I love it. I love you guys, and you guys have been fun to get to do. And, you know, meeting twice a week has been fun. And Yeah, it has. It's been, uh, it's been a nice, um, it's been a nice, I'm just trying to catch up with everybody. Where is everyone? Anyone doing any other work? Man, all those words and pages. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been fun to meet you guys because it's like work, you know. You meet and you chat and you have your water cooler chats and get everything, yeah. get your work done. It's kind of fun. Are you editing That's... anything right now or this coming week, Ali? Any editing assignments you got going on? Um, no, at the moment. Hopefully, we'll pick some up. Yeah. Make My good queue is empty right now. Okay, everyone, you heard. If you have 
I get, I tell you what, Allie has been really good about even chatting through plots and chatting through, you know, problems and that kind of thing. I, I keep telling Allie, I don't know, maybe you already do have a price for that on your on your website, but you need to have one, like a book coach price. <laughs> so you guys need to all get a hold of Allie and use her. She's really good. Uh, narrative progress. Yay, Jocelyn. Excellent. That's great. So it seems like everyone made a little progress today. That's good. Yeah. Did some edits. That's good. Awesome. Um, so everyone, this has been fun. And yeah, anything else? Allie? Allie and I are going to stay on so I can teach her the technology so she can yes. fly through Tuesday. You're going to be fine, Allie. It's really not that It's going to be great. Yeah. Megan Lamb, I sent you a message to see if you want to join us. Oh, yes. So, Megan Liam, I will send you the link so you can join us So, um, in Messenger. So, if you can go to Messenger, I'll send you a link in a few minutes after we're done live here. And, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys the tech. It's so easy. You guys will be just fine, and you're going to have so much fun, and you're going to laugh. You're going to work. You're going to get some work done. You're going to entertain everybody. It's going to be great. I'm excited yes. for you. I'm excited. Okay, and so we will see you guys Tuesday. Yeah. And I think you said Saturday too is okay, right, Ali, for next week? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll write Tuesday and uh, uh, Saturday. See you guys all then. Okay. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. And enjoy whatever weather you all have wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.